Hi, this is Jean-Luc Mosley with Key Performance Ideas, and this is my tutorial on how to use DataSync. What I have here is some data in a BSO cube, and I would like to move it to an ASO cube, which is on this tab. To do that, I can use DataSync. DataSync is located in Data Management. To set up DataSync, first you must go to the target application under Register and set up your target application. In this case, since we are going from a BSO cube to an ASO cube, our target application will be an ASO cube. In this case, it will be an S-space type cube. After setting up your target application, you want to set up your import format. The import format we currently have set up is called data SIF. When setting up this import format, it is important to specify both the source type and the target type. Make sure your source type is set to EPM and your source is the BSO cube. In this case, our BSO cube is called Plantastic One. For the target type, you must also select EPM as well and select your ASO cube or your desired target cube as your target. For the data mappings, you want to make sure that each of the columns is assigned to a dimension. You do not need to put anything in this expression field. Once you have correctly set up your import format, move on to location. If you do not have a location created already, you may create one clicking that, by clicking the Add button. We have, we have currently created a location called DataSync Location. To set up a location for DataSync, after assigning a name to the location, select the import format that you previously created. Make sure that the source is set to your BSO cube. Once again, in our case, we're using Plantastic One and set your target to the ASO cube. After location is set up, move to period mapping. In period mapping, be sure to select the current, the correct period that contains the data that you want to move via data set. Make sure that the period is in both global mapping, application mapping, and source mapping. After completing period mapping, move to category mapping to verify that you are in the correct category. And in this case, we are moving actuals, so our category is set to actual. You may also use DataSync with budget categories or custom categories that you have set up. Now that the setup for DataSync is completed, it is time to move to workflow. When in workflow, first what you must do is create the data sync rule. Once you've created the rule, go to data load mapping. Here you will map the dimensions specified in the import format to the target dimensions in the application. For data sync, you do not need to have any specific mapping, so 
In this case, we will use like mappings for all of the dimensions. Once you have set up your light mappings, you may set up the source filters for the data sync rule. Source filters are required in order to get the data sync rule to run correctly. As you can see here, I have set up filters for currency, scenario, version, account, and department. Additionally, when setting up your data load rule, you want to select your source plan type to the Plantastic Cube. In this case, it is set to main. Some applications might also have an employee cube as well. So be sure to select the correct one that you want the data to come from. Now that the data load rule is set up, let me click Execute to run it. You may check all of the boxes and select the start period and end period that contains your data. Now, once again, this is the tab containing the ASO cube that previously did not have data at this intersection. Now, once the rule has run and I refresh, I should see the data from the BSO cube move over. As you can see, the data from the ASO cube now matches the data from the BSO cube. Once again, my name is Jean-Luc Mosley, and this has been my tutorial for DataSync.